Hey, Kevin here. Listen, I gonna go over one of my favorite songs and my, I'm telling you, I absolutely love um, this song and each time I get a chance to play it with this particular group, I'm honored. I just think back to when they actually recorded it and it was one of the biggest songs that they've done and the song I'm speaking on is the Canton Spirituals Heavenly Choir. Now, there is a lot of stuff going on in that song, a lot of great uh, movements and a lot of good, good music and the song is just uh, structurally put together very well. Dwayne Watkins played guitar on it and the concept and the way he came up with playing this song was incredible. And then now I hear the um, Antone Porter and, and um, Rod um, play it together and it's, it's amazing to hear all those guys, um, the way they interpret that song. But I'm going to go over it. Um, the introduction, I'm going to go over the um, chords in the song. The song uh, chords are pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Um, and the chords is, the key of the song is actually in C. And what it is, is a C sus2 chord. And that's played, you can just play a bar chord across the third fret and then add the D on the fifth fret, and then add um, on your G string, you add on the sep fifth fret un under that uh, that D string, you have that, okay? And that makes it a C sus two chord. Then you play a F, not an F, but a G triad, okay? A G triad, so you have the C sus two, G triad, Back to your C sus2. Then you're gonna play a F major seven, but you're not gonna play, you're just gonna play the triad and just use the open E string for your seven. See that? So that's the F major seven chord. And then they play a F6 chord. And the way you play this F6 chord, you should play it just like you're playing an F triad and add the six which is that B string on the third fret. And that's a D. See that? So what we have is... And that's all the chords to the song. All the chords. That's all it is to the chording on it. You can. There's variations you can play. But um, the foundation of it is just just those chords. And now, what spiced that whole movement up was the introduction that Dwayne Watkins played. Now, what he did was so creative. <laughs> I love it. He started out with a slide, and he only played two strings on the slide. I believe he started right here on the 10th fret and on the A fret, the 10th fret on the B string, and then the A fret on the um, E string, okay? And that's that's a C and an A. So got have that, and then he slid that same um, position all the way down to the third fret and the fifth fret. So So he goes, And then what he does, he goes, he goes E, D, E, D, E. E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D. Okay. So we have. Then what he does is another two string phrase that he plays and it's almost like playing a major seven but it's actually he's only using two notes he's starting on the a fret on the b string and then the seventh fret on the e string and just playing those two notes okay and when he plays those two notes what he does he slides to the uh, half step up to the 
A fret on the E string, right? And then the 10th fret on the B string. So, so he has that. And then he goes a whole step higher to the 12th and 10th fret, okay? Then he moves a half step up to that same fingering that we did right here. He moves that all the way up to the 12th and 13th fret. So he has, okay? And then he goes back a half step, back a whole step. Then he goes back down to the eighth fret and the tenth fret. So it's then he goes all the way up down here to that fifteenth and seventeenth fret, fifteenth on the E string and 17th on the B string, okay? So we got Okay, then he, he strikes that again, then plays that, that same fingering that we had here, and then he goes into a slide, he goes now that slide starts on the A fret and he's only still only using two, two strings. He's using that B string and the E string on the A fret and he's sliding a whole step back and forth. So we got. And then he goes into his single note solo where he does some bends, but he starts out playing on the 13th fret on the B string, okay? On the 13th fret on the B string, which is a C, okay? Then he slides back a half step to the B, and then back to the C. Then he goes to the, um, the 15th fret, right? but he's gonna bend it from the 15th on the B string. He's gonna bend it a whole step. So he goes. Okay. So we do it once again. Then he comes back out of it. right to the 13th fret then he goes to the 12th fret on the D string and does a bend there so that's that bend so what what do we have Then he goes to, on the fifth fret, on your G string, he hits that, that one string. What it is, is that is a C. Then he does a bend, but he does like a country bend. So what he's going to do is play the uh, B and E string on the A fret. You can play that with your pinky. And then with your ring finger, you're gonna play the seventh fret on the G string. So go, hit that. Then then you hear it, it should sound like that, but he's gonna bend that G string. See that? See that? <laughs> Tricky, but he, you can do it. So we got, Then he does a slide starting on the, the ninth fret on the D string. Then you go to the A fret on the B string, go a whole step 
from the eighth to the tenth fret. So you got right. So we have. Going back, that did that bend? Okay, let's do the whole thing. So go. introduction to heavily choir now you're going to have to work it out it's not going to come easy if you're not used to playing like the country licks but you can do it okay thank you for viewing and we'll see you in the next clip